Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I want to go over a just one of the one of the many projects um, that's connected to uh, Scientific Coin. I went over Scientific Coin, and, and for disclosure, I've gone over it a million times. I'm a, a member of the team, super low level member of the team. Um, it's mainly made up of a, a bunch of a geniuses and, and brainiacs, like I've said. But um, I touched on this in my interview with the uh, the CAO uh, Morrow, which you can see the video here. I'll go ahead and leave a link to this video and also to my review of uh, Scientific Coin. But Scientific Coin is set up um, as kind of a crowd. Well, there's a few parts to it. One, there's an online university. Um, then there is the Higher Scientist Program, which is kind of like a Fiverr, but just for scientists. Um, you can hire a scientist if you need it, uh, one to work and do science um, for teaching um, pretty much anything like I said it's it's pretty revolutionary it's like Fiverr but first not just science and just scientists um, now how scientific coin works is it's a crowdfunding uh, for scientific projects you would uh, it's made it the ecosystem is made up of, of experts um, that would review the project and the um, the feasibility of it, the profitability of it. There's also a really advanced algorithm that uh, reviews it, and then it is uh, approved or not approved for funding. Um, but one of the successful projects that just has come out of it is called Health Monitor. Health Monitor is hard to believe because of what it does it's almost like science fiction um, but <clears throat> when you look at what scientific coin is doing they're really taking a lot of the uh, the hindrance out of uh, innovation and and, and uh, scientific discovery the government's not in it um, corporations aren't involved it's just the scientists their team and funding and they're free to go at it without being uh, restrained by uh, a board or uh, a government or an agency that is holding the purse strings. Um, so I think this is really going to, uh, I think it's really going to help innovation and it's really going to, going to, going to have a, a lot of invention and scientific uh, discoveries are really going to blossom because of this. Now, um, I'm going to go over, uh, just touch on a lot of things with uh, the health monitor because it's, like I said, it's very, very advanced. Um, the things that it, that it does are, are incredible. It's a, a breath-based health check device. Um, if you can think of it as, like, you go to your mall or your drugstore and there's those blood pressure check machines everywhere. It's just like that. It's not similar. It's exactly like that. It's a autonomous machine that's set up in the corner for you to check your health. The things that it checks, though, are what's so insane. Um, like here's the, here's the machine. Uh, this is a little. There's. A, I'm going to leave a link to the uh, to the site on this. There's a little video on how it works. It's very simple. All you do is you get a straw, uh, your own personal straw. You, plug it to the machine you can pay a different uh, any price a dollar two dollars five dollars um, and these machines are set up like those blood pressure machines for uh, franchises and for people for people to buy and set up as a money-making opportunity which is one of the, the, the things that it was sold sold as uh, for production um, scientific coin also has a production plant in the Czech Republic where they make these um, I'll go over the price for them because that's just will blow your mind too. But anyway, you put in your your buck or two bucks or five bucks, you blow in there, and then the test takes a few seconds to a minute or so, um, and then you get your results. You can have your results uh, printed out right on the machine. It comes out right here, or uh, you can even have it type in your email, 
to the touch screen and it will email your results to you. Also, um, it can be connected to certain doctors that can be connected to this. And if there are things that you need to get checked out, I can uh, give you advice on that. Um, by all means, this isn't meant to like take the place of a doctor, but this is meant to tell you if you need to go and get something checked um, or verified. The things that it, that it can test for, if you breathe into this straw, it can tell you your blood sugar level, if you have diabetes, if you have ulcers, if you have cancer. This can tell you if you have developing lung cancer or gastrointestinal cancer, anything like that. Um, and I know that sounds insane and incredible, but I'll go over it. Um, all right. The normal human exhalation is a complex mixture of about 600 volatile compounds. And this is so precise that it measures uh, different degrees of those compounds and can, uh, can extrapolate from that what is out of the, what is out of the ordinary and what that exactly means um it can tell you if you have uh, hypertension high blood pressure from what's in your uh exhalation um now there are similar machines that are already created like this nothing this advanced but they're 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 close they're very similar but they require they're huge it's mainly meant which i when i first heard about this i thought that this was just for hospitals I thought they invented this really cool machine that does this super scientific stuff that's going to be like in hospitals. But they've developed it for small use. You could literally buy one of these for yourself. Um, the other ones that are similar, they are huge. They have uh, high pressure tanks, laser systems, high powered vacuums. They're, they're massive and they cost about, about fifty to $65,000. So not something that you could buy for yourself. Um, the uh, health monitor, it costs about $5,000 to make, or $5,000 for the for the system. It's it's very, 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 very reasonable. Um, and they have a franchise program where you can get these, set them up in shopping malls and other places, and actually use it as a, uh, a money-making opportunity. Um, a health monitoring machine conducts a quick test for different diseases by measuring concentration of gases in the exhale, uh, exhaled air. To start the test, customers should insert the amount of money. Like I said, it depends on your the, the region and the country and all that kind of stuff. But let's say you're in in Dallas in the mall and it's going to be five bucks. You put your five bucks in there. During the test, the uh, device will ask you to blow strongly in the straw for about ten seconds. After the payment, the customer um, Take your personal straw, insert it into the corresponding hole of the device. In a few seconds, health monitor finishes the measurements, and the results can be displayed on the screen or sent to the customer's email or printed on the receipt. Um, the customer has to choose the best way to save the results. So, like I said, it's it's pretty it's pretty amazing. They have a lot of machines already out in uh, Europe. You can see here um, where they where they have them set up. The franchise. Uh, terms and conditions are here uh the profit on these is it looks pretty good just for you know the cheap price and i think once word gets out about these it's going to be basically like the blood pressure machines everywhere i mean those blood pressure machines probably cost a few thousand dollars and they don't do anything like this um i mean you can buy your own blood pressure machine for you know under 100 bucks so uh, not a machine, but the little, you know, little self tester. Um, monitoring of bronchial uh, asthma, one of the possible ways you can use the device. Optimal training for athletes, detection of radon levels, um, carbon monoxide, uh, all the other things that, you know, you want to know if you have those, uh, those levels are too high. Um, let me see if I can blow this up here a little bit. All right. Um, health monitor. This is an interview you can watch. Um, used for uh, 
ecology and environmental protection, monitoring control of atmospheric pollution, uh, chemical technologies of the process which are associated with the use of the production of gases, public safety, detection of explosive and dangerous substances in places and concentrations of people, forensics, medicines, um, an unlimited number of analyses uh, allows health monitor to be used as a vending machine in supermarkets, airports, railways, stations, etc. Uh, the widening of the database will be followed by a software update to detect additional gases that are not added by software today. Health monitor device does not need upgrading due to its versatility. Like I said, it hooks up um, and it could actually going to be connecting to a doctor that could, uh, could give you some advice on if you need to get something checked or not. Um, all right, now the, the gaseous molecules in the exhalation of a person and their diagnostic significance. H2, the, diet, the digestive disorder of diabetes or of babies, uh, disorders of the gastrointestinal tract, hydrocarbon uh, mass absorption, uh, CO, anemias, hemolytic side. God, these words are so hard. Carboxhemoglobulinemia. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just skim these. Uh, in a adorable and chronic exposure, it's, it's a cute, not adorable, but I always say that. Uh, Long-term stay with high constant of O2. Damn, hyperprolipidemia and the uh, the newborn oxidative stress, hematomas, hemoglobinuria, preeclampsia, infections thalassemia, respiratory tract infection, and asthma, which, man, I've had a cough. I had a cough for about two weeks, and I, I think I may have had a respiratory tract infection. I put it off. I didn't go to the doctor. This would have been really cool that I could have went and spent five bucks instead of going to my doctor and spending like a hundred bucks, which in the U.S., you know, we had, even though I have insurance, it's still, there's still a big copay, and if I have to go to the emergency room, forget about it. It's, it's nuts. Um, Check for acute chronic uh, radiation sickness, metabolism, um, renal failure, nephrosis, hypertension, like I said, atherosclerosis, uh, the renal arteries, toxicis, neuropathy uh, of pregnant women, How did I, that's, man. toxic kidney damage, liver failure, jaundice, hepatitis, liver cirrhosis, toxic hepatitis, and lung cancer. Um, C4 or CH4. Disorders of the gastrointestinal tract, hydro, hydrocarbon malabsorption, oxidative stress, liquid uh, inflammatory process, asthma, inflammation of inter in internal organs, acute mitochondria infarction, uh, and destruction caused by free radicals, and then uh, pulmonary disease, asthma, hypertension, bronchitis, infection of the upper respiratory tract, uh, Inflammatory processes of the stomach and gastrous, including the helicobacter pylori infection. I guess that's like pleurisy. Uh, cancer of the digestive system. Severe sepsis. Chronic infectious inflammatory process. So basically, if you know someone that just puts off going to the doctor, you can go and, and, and get this uh, test done you know, for a buck or two. And then it's going to tell you, yeah, you really should go to the emergency room. Yeah, I know you, you think you feel bad, but you're kind of septic. It's it's I think it's gonna I think it's gonna be pretty pretty revolutionary. Um, this goes over uh, just a lot of like what it uh, how it can detect ulcers, what it does, what it looks for. Um, diabetes. You can actually without any testing your blood, it can test it to see if it's safe. It's your blood's in a, in a good level or a bad level. Uh, if you have diabetes, you don't need to cut, prick your finger. If you hate needles, this is going to tell you if it's a, uh, if it's um, if you're in a safe level or not. Um, the results can be sent right to your doctor. Uh, lung cancer, like I said, I was reading through this. It's really really interesting. Um, but the thing is, it detects this and it it uh, it evaluates you without using radiation. Or any of these harmful things that are which which where is it the uh, 
the the methods that they use to check for for most cancers are the same as in the 20th century back in the way back in the 1900s they're using the same thing or even the 19th century they still use methods of testing that are from the 1800s okay that's ridiculous um but this is like i said completely different um and it goes over some of the things it looks for, like, just, just like, minute discrepancies with ammonia, isoprene, ethan, pentane, and acetone. That I could, I could detect that, and then it would tell you, yep, it looks like there might be something there. You need to get an appointment. You need to go in and get that checked. Um, but just getting the, the test done, it's not, it's not giving you any health risks. It's not giving you any uh, radiation. Um, there's no harmful side effects. You're not taking a weird drug to make your guts glow so they can take pictures of it. Um, it's pretty, like I said, just, I can't say enough. It's just really, really amazing. Um, the creator is this feller here, which is, he's in the, uh, the interview up here. Um, he's a, he's a super genius. Uh, he has... These are some of the places he's been, the Max Planck Institute for Quantum Optics. Um, he, he's really, I've read through a lot of his stuff, and it is, uh, it's mind-blowing how smart this guy is, because he's not just focused on, like, uh, optics or, um, you know, one certain area of science. He's like a genius in, like, four or five. Um, he has been published... A few times, um, as you can see, all over the world. He's taught all over the world. Um, a really, really interesting guy. Jeez, that's a lot. I think it's like 80 something that's just listed here. Uh, and once again, Scientific Coin, phone number, uh, email, very. Uh, and this is the location of the plant, I believe, that is producing them in the Czech Republic. Um, that's it. Like I said, it's pretty much a, a brief overview on it because it's just so uh, much. Another thing, you know, Scientific Coin and specifically with Health Monitor uh, won the Oscar at the uh, America's Block Show for last year. It's a really big honor. It's a great, great project. Um, and it's one of the first uh, first projects to come out of it that they've uh, – it's very successful um, moving forward. I think it's going to be a huge – a huge, huge thing um, when it comes to uh, personal health care. Um, it's already moving across Europe. I think when it hits America, it's going to be it's going to be massive. Um, as far as franchising and investments, and I think it's going to be a really big thing. But I think it's going to uh, going to help a lot of people. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I appreciate all the likes and the uh, the views. Um, channel's going good, so if it's your first time here, um, hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Try to get out at least uh, two or three videos a week. If you, uh, like I said, if you need anything or have any uh, questions, just leave them in the comments below. Like I said, I'm a member of the team. I'll get with them on it and get you answers if I don't know the answer myself. You guys take care, and I will see you in the next video. Kick it!